Grover Cleveland was the 22nd and 24th President of America, the only president to be elected to two non-consecutive terms. Grover Cleveland was born on March 18, 1837, in Caldwell, New Jersey. He was the sixth cousin once removed of Ulysses S. Grant. He died on June 24, 1908, in his home in Princeton, New Jersey. The career of Grover Cleveland included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He became the 22nd and 24th President of America. His first term as president was from 1885 to 1889, and his second term was from 1893 to 1897. His nicknames were Big Steve and Uncle Jimbo. Benjamin Harrison served as the 23rd U.S. President. Grover Cleveland married Francis Folsom at the White House in 1886. Francis Folsom was his 21-year-old ward. Grover Cleveland and his wife had five children, whose names were Ruth, Esther, Marion, Richard Folsom, and Francis Grover. Grover Cleveland belonged to the Democrat political party. He was 47 years old when he was inaugurated in his first term of office. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Thomas A. Hendricks stood as vice president. Cleveland was the only president to serve non-consecutive terms in office. Grover Cleveland was 5 feet 11 inches in height and weighed a hefty 250 pounds. He had thinning brown hair, blue eyes, and a fair complexion. He vetoed more bills than the first 21 presidents combined. Cleveland had a very outgoing character, was opposed to the temperance movement, and had been involved in a sex scandal. The sex scandal erupted at the time Grover Cleveland was a Democratic nominee. He was accused of fathering a son out of wedlock in 1874 with a widow named Maria Halpin. Maria Halpin later published a book about their relationship. The major events of his first presidency included the Presidential Succession Act, which outlined the line of succession should neither a president nor a vice president be able to discharge the powers and duties of the office. In 1886, the dedication of the 151-foot Statue of Liberty took place. Originally known as Liberty Enlightening the World, the statue was a gift from the French people to commemorate the Franco-American alliance during the American Revolution. Finally, the Interstate Commerce Act, Dawes' Severalty Act, regulated the railroad industry. The major events of his second presidency included Chicago's World Fair, which was held to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the New World in 1492. The Panic of 1893 brought a somber note to the country when a serious economic depression developed. Finally, in 1894, the Pullman strike occurred when Cleveland sent federal troops to crush the Pullman car workers' strike in Illinois. During his life, Grover Cleveland suffered from various health problems, including obesity, a leg laceration, typhoid fever, hearing loss, and gout. Gout is a disease that is caused by excess buildup of uric acid in the joints. Gout was a major health concern in the 1800s and primarily brought on by high-fat diets and consuming too much meat. It was dubbed the disease of kings, or rich man's disease. Grover Cleveland died of heart failure on June 24, 1908, in his home in Princeton, New Jersey. Flags on the White House were displayed at half-staff for a period of 30 days. A suitable military and naval honors were rendered on the day of the funeral. He was buried in Princeton Cemetery. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Grover Cleveland, the only president to be elected to two non-consecutive terms. The next U.S. president was William McKinley. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.